Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do the quick start of the Biv quest line. So there are some spoilers, this is for beginners. So if you've done the Biv quest line, don't bother watching. Um, I'm sure you've got better things to do. Uh, and if you haven't done the Biv quest line, definitely do it uh, and get the recipes. Uh, this week we're doing the, the 15 alcohol challenge. Um, and as long as you start at the beginning of the week, you should be able to easily get 15 uh, recipes. Um, I managed to get 24 out of 25 one week uh, when the 25 challenge was on and I missed it by one. Um, so I know you can do it, uh, but it doesn't mean you're running those challenges daily. And if you've got multiple characters, you can run separate book quests on your alternate characters. And amongst, if you have three or four characters, um, and I think that's what I did, I had five characters, and I'd run a Biv quest on each one of them, and you might get lucky and get some some recipes on the alternate characters, and then you combine them all and you'll get a total of 15 or 25. Uh, there's a total of 27 recipes, um, and then while you, and I'm not suggesting you should run them on alternate characters, I'm just suggesting if you're trying to hit the challenge in that week, you could do that um, while you get all the recipes on your primary character. Otherwise, just uh, just do it on one character every day. Um, and it'll probably take you <coughs> a month or so to get all the recipes. There are 27 in total. And then also don't forget to get the, the hard lemonade from the lemonade vendor or buy it from someone uh, to get that <coughs> final one. Anyway, this is for a one of my new characters. As you can see, I haven't actually gone to Morgantown at all. So I'm going to go ahead up there. I'm going to try and show you what I do. And when I start a new character, I can I, I shortcut it a little bit by just going to get the storage room key ahead of time. And then the rest of it um, <coughs> you can do. So let's get going. This is going to be a long video. So... A longish video, I should say. So, for those that don't like long videos, you know what to do. And let's not leave some toxic comments in my comment section. Let's go find another channel. Okay, so this is a low level one. So, the, the level of your character doesn't matter. You can start this quest uh, by going to any train station or looking at a poster, things like that. We don't care about that. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to head straight to. Um, the storage room place, I'm going to go and get the storage room key and then I'm going to head down to Al's um, and start the quest line. Now that you do want to get this started because the first time you start the quest, uh, I think they give you like the Nukashine recipe, I think that's kind of your first day, but you can't actually do any other, you don't get a second recipe unfortunately. Now, five of them, you have to, like I said, to, to about 21, 22, you can actually buy from other players if you want. And then five of them, you actually have to run the Biv quest, because five of them you can only get uh, from Biv. Uh, that, that's going to be things like the right away. Um, uh, you, just, uh, you just have to do the quest, otherwise you will never get them. You can't buy them um, from, from other players or vendor at all. Okay, you'll notice just at this area we're going to, let me just see, I think it's just, that's kind of the room I need to get to, there with the blue door. So fraternity, I want to head into the blue door, there's a whole bunch of ghouls down there, uh, we're going to just head in here. No, you don't have to come here first, um, i just come here first because you, you got to speak to Bev and then Bev sends you here afterwards and it's just a waste of your time uh, going back and forth, so... I'm going to try and speed it up a little bit. I'll just show you some some tips on how to not have to to go out and in and waste a bunch of time. But by all means, follow Bev. Go speak to Bev, and um, I'd go do it in the proper order if you will. Okay, so we're going to go head up here. There is a computer. We're going to jump on the computer. We just got a personal journal. We're gonna to go to supply room, and you'll notice a distillery supply room password added. That's all you need to do. We're gonna back out of here. Um, if you can, depending on the level of your character, try get 
uh, I was about to say try get green thumb. In my case, I don't have that. And the only reason for that um, is well, so when we get corn and that, I'm gonna have to get my other player online anyway. Because I believe I need a new color quantum. Okay, so we're gonna head out. Okay, we can just head down here. Yeah, I'm gonna go and see if I can get some corn here quick. Again, one of the things that you want to do prior to going to Berva if you're able to, as well as get some Nuka Cola Quantum if you know where to get that. Or hopefully you have it. Okay, so let's, <coughs> let's keep going. I'm just going to get my other character online so I can get the Nuka Color Quantum when I need it. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to just head down the road here. Yeah, um, and we just want to head past this bridge there. You're going to run some ghouls here. Yeah. I'm going to assume most of you are higher level, so you won't need to worry about the stuff. Okay, so there's a little cornfield here, and we're gonna need some razor grain and corn. So let's go ahead and get that. Again, you can come here afterwards. This is just gonna save us some time. I think we need five. Unfortunately, I don't have green thumb, so hopefully I'm gonna be able to get just enough to cover it. I should. I think that's probably okay. Okay, and then once we got that, we're gonna get some razor grain, and you just kind of go around there. There's a whole bunch of them yeah there should again be enough so I think we need five each oh. I say there's like a missing truck here there's normally a truck here that's kind of sitting right over here okay so let's just do a quick check here got uh, seven corn and five razor grain which I think is fine I think we probably got oh there's some more up here
Okay, so I think we've got plenty there. Okay, so we need to, we can't actually, we can go to Biv, but uh, we actually need to go to the fraternity house. Okay, I'm just going to get a Nuka Cola Quantum quick. Okay, so Big Owls is right over here if you want. You can just go read this poster. Uh, you can actually enter Owls, but there's no point. Um, you're going to have to go to the Fraternity House first. Yeah, so I'm gonna go and grab the new Coca-Cola Quantum. So either get one or get one from a friend or go buy one if you know where. Okay, so we're gonna head over to the frat house, which is just up the road here. So get the storage key, get some corn, uh, get five corn, get um, get five razor grain, and get a new Coca-Cola Quantum. I think that's all we need. We might need bold water. Actually, I might actually get that as well. I think you need some bold water as well. Okay, I'll get that on the way back. We might as well come get some liquor here. Okay, so just gonna head over to the frat house, and if you read that poster, you'll see it um, on your display. I'm trying to avoid these ghouls here on my left. Okay, so we're just going to enter into this frat house. Now it is useful having a friend, uh, if you do have a friend or a second character, because then um, you're going to be sent somewhere on the map and then, you know, trying to get back or not needing to f pay for getting back, you might want to do that. Otherwise, you're just going to have to do that. Okay, so we are going to head upstairs. We are gonna grab oh, not that one. Oh, there's another room here. Where is it? Over uh, with this one. There is a goal in this room. So we can take the Nuka Shine New World. Need to drink it in a sec. Okay, we can re Nuka Shine. I think that's all we need to do. There we go. If you back out, it should ask us to drink the Nuka Shine. Okay, so let's go to A, drink Nuka Shine. Okay, it's then gonna, um, it's gonna send some ghouls up. It's gonna tell us we're gonna have to kill a bunch of ghouls. Uh, you don't have to. I think I've only ever cleared it once. Um, it, it kind of, it's a bad spawn. They don't really come up. 
they kind of get stuck and stuff. Uh, so it's kind of, I think, in the most part, hard to actually even complete. And just grab some alcohol. You're gonna guys gonna need a lot of alcohol in general as you go through the quest line. So you might as well whenever you see alcohol grab it and pick it up. And either keep it on you or put it in your stash. Because you'll need various alcohol to make recipes, otherwise you're gonna have to go and craft them. Just saves you some time. When you're doing the, the, the quest line or the dailies. So Nuka Shine is going to send us somewhere random on the map. Um, sometimes you will go to a place that you've never been to, so it's kind of cool. Okay, so like I said, it's very random. These guys tied up. Nuka Shine Bottle. Yeah, let's see where we're at. Okay, so we're right over here by. Um, uh, there's a workshop right over here. And since I'm here, I might as well go and unlock it quick. used to be a place where you can get a lot of hazmat suits so if you're looking for hazmat suits generally used to be like five or six yeah Generally there's some high level enemies, yeah, like uh, super mutants and stuff. Scorch beast will attack this workshop. Alrighty, so let's head back to Owls. Like I said, I don't have to pay for fast traveling because I have my other character there. So if you have a friend, it'll just save you some caps. Okay, so I think I have everything. I uh, just want to get some boiled water. I think we need it to craft the Nuka Shine. Okay, so we're going to head into Owls. There's a lot of stuff in your um, junk and stuff, so if you're actually looking for regular daily junk, just head to Owls every couple days, and they have 
lots of everything from copper to you name it, stim packs. It's a pretty pretty resourceful area. Um, in fact, you could even sometimes when you had to do your the the weekly where you have to actually collect junk, I used to just come here and then run down the road towards the frat house and just collect all the junk along there onto um, as you can see, a lot of stuff in here. And you could actually do everything. Uh, you can actually do that that daily or that weekly by just raiding everything in owls and on your way to to the actual uh, red rocket. Okay, so we're going to head into uh, Alia, Alzia. Uh, normally, what I do when I first come in here, I just check for free alcohol um, before anyone else gets it. There's generally a bunch of stuff here. Uh, not today, but it looks like it. There's some bold water there. So just generally on the table, you'd find wine. It might have been taken already. I don't see anything. Normally there's wine on this table. If it's not on that table, it's generally at the back of a year. And then generally on the counter, you should see uh, a couple of things behind the counter. But it looks like someone's already raided the alcohol by the looks of it, um, would be my guess. And of course, a whole bunch of resources. Yeah, oil, you name it. Just grab all the stuff on the floor, behind the doors and stuff. Right. Okay. So first thing we're going to do, yeah, it's to save some time, is we're going to head into this room. You have your password. We're going to enter the password. Open the door. So we haven't actually spoken to Al yet, and we are going to grab this note on this table, which is the list. The second part of that list, we'll have to read it. You can grab the nuclear waste. We'll need that. There should be three things of nuclear waste here, yeah. and then once you've got that, you can head on out. Okay, so we're going to talk to Burv at this point. Now you have to spam Burv for some reason. They made that, that. I don't know if you have spam or you hit A once, but I think you have to spam him because he talks a whole bunch of crap. Um, so just spam him until he talks to you. I, I generally don't listen. I probably never listen to what he said, uh, but obviously listen if you're interested. Uh, but just spam him until he tells you to do something. And this goes for all the dailies, right? Doesn't matter what daily you do, you just gotta kinda of spam him. <laughs> I don't know why they made it like that. You have to spam him and interact with him and just waste your time. Okay, so we spam him, spam, uh, 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 Biv at the moment to get some more information. And then once he's given us that information, he's gonna ask us to read the. the the second part, uh, so we've got ingredients one added, the top left hand corner, and it's going to ask us to look at the second ingredient. Okay, so read the nuclear on this in your inventory. Okay, so let's get our inventory here. Yeah. yeah, let's read part one. So we've got five corn, five raised grain, five wood. Hopefully, we have wood on us. Two boiled water, one nuclear color quantum, uh, which is what we needed there. And uh, three nuclear material, which we've just picked up from that room. Okay, so I might need to go out and get some wood. There you go. Craft a nuclear shine. So let's go and cross a nuclear shine here. Okay, so under spirits, there should be some nuclear shine. And I just have enough wood, thank goodness. So make sure you got five wood at least. Uh, five corn, uh, two boiled water, three nuclear material, one nuclear color quantum, five razor grain, and five wood. Okay, so you've just crafted one alcohol for that uh, challenge for this week. Okay, so it's now going to tell us to read this note. So you want to read this note here, so speed up the nuclear shine. Okay, once you've read the note, we're going to actually... Use the uh, add nuclear shine, it's gonna blow up. That is normal. Okay, and I think that is it. This will start the quest. Okay, we're gonna give both the nuclear shine that we just made. 
and that's it. You've done with the quest. You've got it started. It's that simple. So it, it didn't take us too long. Uh, I did, I did uh, go around and do various things. And that took us about 25 minutes, give or take. Um, a little bit quicker if we were at uh, the right place. So again, spam, spam. Uh, you got to spam him all the time. And the quest, the daily quests are really easy. Like I said, you're going to get one that, uh, the really easy one is you eat spoiled meat. Um, so you're going to just have to get used to it. Stuff like strength will be like eating spoiled meat. Endurance, um, I think you spoiled meat. Um, uh, there you go. We've got wasted Yuka shine. And as you can see, top left corner, we unlocked the fermenter, so you can now build it at your workshop, at your your camp. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to show you one more before we end the uh, we. Uh, before we end the, um, the video, but that's basically it. Get this started, um, run your quest daily until you get 25 alcoholic recipes. Um, and if you run them every day, um, I'm just gonna show you quickly how easy they typically are. So let's actually go and run a daily. Okay, so I'm just gonna switch characters here quick. I didn't actually have to leave the team there. Okay, I'm going to switch to uh, another character here. Now, there's, like I said, there's different, um, there's different dailies that Viv gives you. One um, is to, you know, you eat spoiled meat uh, to test your endurance. Uh, that's the best one you can get. And you, you they're very random, so you don't get them every day. Um, and then the next one is test your strength, uh, which I think is you, you have to shoot... Um, something at uh, with a ranged weapon so again there's lots of girls in the area and stuff so you just go out and one is a sneak attack you just have to kind of crouch and shoot something so they're really pretty easy each one is pretty easy or some of them you just got to drink some alcohol so that's what's useful everyone they're gonna or most of them they're gonna say drink a beer or drink some whiskey or drink some uh, something so it's useful to have all the various different at least one of each alcohol um, and that will I'll just save you some time to get through that quest pretty quick. So when you see some alcohol, just grab it, keep it, and either put it in your stash box or just keep it on you. I just keep all the alcohol on me. Um, or, or if you don't want to do that, just when you, you'll just have to craft it separately, right? So, which isn't a big deal. Most of them are pretty easy to do. I think the red ant one. Um, is probably the hardest okay so we are back here and I'm gonna head back into into Bubs with my new character or my primary character rather Okay, so just head downstairs. Spam both. Okay, so he'll give you a, a, a daily. Now, sometimes he will give you two dailies. Um, most of the time, 
you can only do one of them um, so you might get rewarded twice the second the second one just saves you from actually coming to Burv. you can actually just uh, log in and start that do that daily it'll be on your list of dailies to do you can go and just do it and then come and see Burv. so it does save you some time regardless um, some people say you can actually do both dailies I have not seen evidence of that as such um, so let's take a look here I don't see it marked so sometimes it's unmarked so it tests my strength while the facts of bourbon so more than likely I'm gonna have to use a ranged weapon or melee weapon so normally I don't even drink anything uh, I probably don't have bourbon so I will have to go get that from my old character here in a sec but I might actually have some so that's where it's useful to have those drinks like I said especially the, the harder ones like uh, bourbon's probably more common rum is probably the more less common one uh, so having some rum on you is probably going to be useful. Okay, so I am gonna drink some bourbon if I have some. And I have 90. Okay, so pretty good. Okay. Okay, so once you drink bourbon, let's just see what it says. Kill some of the melee attacks. So very easy. That's one. another very easy one. You just run in here and you just hammer some dude. Okay, and that's all you have to do and then it should in the most part sometimes you have to do it more than once but it should register um sometimes just uh, there's a lot of lag so sometimes you just have to wait a little bit okay so once it says completed let's head back to Al's, and that's it very quick and easy so most of them are going to be like less than two minutes uh they need the longest one or the two longest ones i'd say are go and buy something at a vendor um craft something so it's useful uh, if you have um, um, some razor grain and corn on you then you can just craft a quick beer and you don't even have to leave be uh, boobs that's really super easy just as quick as the spoiled meat the other one is eat the spoiled meat and um, those are probably the two easier ones uh, so and the critical hits I think is probably the longest where you have to get a critical hit but I found, you know, it almost speeds it up. They kind of make a, the critical hits really easy. You just run down the road and you just uh, critical hit a bunch of ghouls. And then you head back before the before the alcohol wears off. Okay, so we're just doing that. As you can see, there we are. Very quick and easy. And then you'll get some sort of reward or and uh, act, uh, a recipe activated so most of the time you'll get an additional recipe unfortunately they do uh, the new color dark uh, one of the rarer ones um, but um, unfortunately they, they're very randomized so a lot of the times you get the same recipe over and over very frustrating it puts a lot of people off you keep doing these daily and you get the same damn recipe which is annoying so there you go just keep doing them daily you will get them eventually um and then you know 15 very easy to get uh, 25 is much harder and then yeah you just have to run these quests daily to get those five special ones which you can only get from Biv directly otherwise if you see them in people's camps just buy them um and that'll save you save you some time or just post a message on the lfg or the reddit um marketplace if you're looking for specific recipes i haven't been very lucky in those cases a lot of people won't actually sell you recipes anymore they just don't run both enough to to have those recipes uh, but you might get lucky someone might actually have them but uh, anyway there you go i hope someone found that useful and if they hit the like button and if you haven't uh, watched my channel before please go ahead and subscribe it does help me a lot and I do appreciate it. So uh, feel free to give me some constructive feedback back. I always welcome constructive feedback. I don't like any toxic comments. And I will block anyone that leaves a toxic comment on my, my channel. Uh, you know, just put a comment there. That's helpful. And 
constructive uh you know and uh if you're looking for various videos just let me know and i'll be more than happy to help uh new players and and seasoned players um uh you know on certain things uh, i do challenges daily that's my thing i don't really play the game like most people uh, this is i just run the, i run various challenges on all my characters um and that's that's what i enjoy and that's how i play the game myself so there you go have a good one